Hello everyone, what's up? Uh, Tony Talib here, and I'm gonna give you my impressions about uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, another great Ubisoft game that's coming out this year. Great lineup, I mean, Assassin's Creed 4, Splinter Cell, and Watch Dogs. I mean, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be getting all those three games, uh, uh, at least for now. Uh, uh, I've never now I've never played a Splinter Cell game before. I've never even watched any footage of other games, and so that everything I'm gonna say right now is a first for me. So I don't know if uh, these features that I'm gonna talk about are in other games. So bear with me uh, through this video. Uh, I'm, uh, the things I liked about this is that it, it kind of reminded me of Metal Gear Solid, which is a good thing because everybody knows that Metal Gear Solid games are great. Um, so right off the bat, that caught my attention. Uh, great details in the world. Uh, now there's a huge difference in, in graphics. I, I could notice the huge difference in graphics uh, with this demo because it's of this generation of consoles and mostly the demos we've seen lately are from next generation so you can see the difference there um, but anyway good very good graphics nonetheless uh, I like that there are different approaches to situations uh, you can do stealth you can uh, attack enemies quietly you can just go all out and shoot at them and you can even just pass them by and don't do anything to them i like variety in a game that's something that has me hooked up in this game uh, uh, we saw a, a dog that can smell your scent it can smell you and detect you and you have to take uh, uh, take him out take it out so that it doesn't alarm all the other enemies. Um, your goggles can be jammed by a, a tech uh, expert, I think it's called. And so you have to approach everything, all the situation without using your goggles, just with what you see, uh, which makes it more difficult. And if for any reason that, that you get spotted and the tech expert uh, Notice it, notices you, it's going to activate some drones that are going to make it even more difficult to deal with that situation. Um, a thing I liked was a little gadget, like a tri rotor, it was called, like a small plane that you can control to scout the area. You can mark uh, enemies, you can uh, perform non lethal takedowns, you can explode it. They, there are lots of enemies coming and you can just attract them. Um, now the disadvantage of this is that this tri rotor makes noise and enemies can't spot you and once they do, well, there's gonna be hell to pay. Um, another thing that I noticed and it's something I I didn't like but it's just nitpicking really because it doesn't uh, bother me too much but it's something I noticed, and it was that at some point when you were uh, approaching, crouching, um, enemies turned, and any normal person would see you crouching there, but the enemies didn't seem to notice you. So maybe that's uh, a mistake or a little. A little mistake they did, uh, but well, uh, no game is perfect. So, but like I said, that's just nitpicking. Uh, from what I've seen of the game, I've seen two different demos, and I love them. I want to get this game. It comes out August tw August uh, August twentieth, I think, and I think it's only going to be for this generation of console. So, I'm going to be getting it. So yeah. That's uh, uh, what I have for this. Th those are my thoughts for this video. Uh, this game is a lot about strategy. You know, you have to know how to 
the how to deal with the situation beforehand so that you, you have to prepare as much as you can because it's it's like top secret missions you're gonna have to do so they, they look great they look great I'm looking forward to this game it's gonna be my first Splinter Cell game and it's well developers are saying obviously that it's gonna be the best Splinter Cell yet so I'm pretty excited about it uh, well let's you know, I'll just have to wait and see what the reviews, uh, what score the, the, the reviews give this game. But up until now, it's a must buy for me. I want to try it out. But what about you guys? You, do you, do you, are you interested in the Splinter Cell? For those of you that have played the other Splinter Cells, does this look good? As good as the others? Or does this look better? Uh, please tell me in the comment section. Uh, uh, like this video, help me out by subscribing, please. And thank you for watching, guys. Have a good night. God bless. Bye.